All right, Shalom. This is Brother Chayyaha here with GMS Charlotte. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And salutations to you, Akim, out there in the four corners, laboring in this truth and pushing with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I just wanted to do a quick little video, man, just through the Spirit. I was in the book of Proverbs and I had uh, just came across the scripture that, you know, just kind of put something in my head, man. I ain't going to make this too long. You know, I just wanted to make it through the Spirit. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 5. It says, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Okay? Now, don't that sound familiar? It sounds like something uh, that took place in the, um, in the New Testament, man. Okay? Because um, through the Spirit, if you'll receive it, man, all right, and the men of Great Millstone, we've received it. Uh, King Solomon was uh, uh, Yahweh Shine and Reincarnation, man. Okay, now this it says, uh, "Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled." Yeah, that I put together for you, man. And that bread is not talking about literal bread or wine. It's talking about the spiritual uh, bread and wine, man. Okay, the righteous philosophy, man. It's this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. All right, come, eat of my bread. Then Yahweh Shai say that when he was with the uh, the twelve disciples at the Last Supper, he said, "Come, eat of my bread and I uh, drink of my blood, man." Okay. Yeah, eat, eat of my body and drink of my uh, of my blood, man. Okay, this bread and wine, man, is spiritual for um, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay, because only the men of great mills, or well, only the uh, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, can um can get the scriptures, man. Okay, two thousand of our people can't understand this. Okay, so we're eating that bread and we're drinking that wine, that spiritual bread and wine. Okay. So let me get that in the New Testament. All right. Because again, man, this thing is spiritual. We don't look we don't look at the scriptures in a carnal aspect. Okay? So uh this is the book of Matthew chapter 26. I'm going to start at verse 26. It says, "And as they were eating, Yahweh shot took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. Verse 28, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Yeah, he said, uh, 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 take this bread, you know, this is my body. Okay, talk again, talking about the scriptures, all right, the, uh, the understanding of the scriptures, because only the, um, the elect is able to grasp the understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man. Or only the elect can get it. And uh, we believe, you know, through the spirit of Pavi Habah Shema Shah, that started with the men of Great Millstone, man. Our elders and our apostles who rule well. Okay? We have the understanding. You know? It says, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Yeah, testament, agreement. All right, that means agreement or covenant. So, uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem um, the Lord made a new covenant with the nation of Israel. All right, and that, hey, that that covenant is being fulfilled right now. Yeah, we still have the old covenant, but the new one is taking effect right now as well. All right, because uh, Yahweh, when he was talking to Abraham, he said, uh, "I'm gonna make a covenant with your seed forever and ever, even forever, man." All right, so Yahweh Shema Shah is never going to depart from the nation of Israel. All right, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. All right, and even more proof that this bread is talking about um this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because you know these Christians that yeah that's yeah that's that's what I want to get to man you you damn Christians man you you guys are simple and y'all don't understand the scriptures. All right. Even so, you other people out there, all right? It's not, the Lord is not saying literally eat his skin and drink his blood, man. <laughs> all right? I got to say that because niggas are simple, all right? But this is the book of uh, John chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse 51. It's lucky, you know? I'm going to start at 50. It says, uh, this is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. Yeah, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding came from the Most High, Yahweh. Uh, yeah, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, 
this bread, all right, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding came from the heaven, man. All right, it came from above. And nobody else is able to obtain this save the elect, man, okay? That any man may eat thereof and not die. Yeah, because when you take in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and take heed to it and actually uh, follow after righteousness, you're not going to see death, man, all right? The law, statutes, and commandments is life. That's why Yahabah Shema Shah gave it to the nation of Israel and to Israel only, you know? And then starting with the elect, this uh, this this uh, this bread, this manna from heaven, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding was given to the elect to understand the scriptures, so that we may have. It's so lucky the camera cut out, but um, I was in a lot of part of verse um verse fifty, uh, Saint John, chapter six, verse fifty. It says that a man in a lot of part that a man may eat thereof and not die. And again, that um that bread that Yahweh is talking about is this uh this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Of the Holy Scriptures, okay? The law, statutes, the commandments, the promises, all right? The covenants, all right? So that way we may hold them and not die, man. Because the Scriptures say some of us may not taste, uh, may not even taste death, okay? Verse 51. Again, is Yahweh Shah speaking. He says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Which I will give for the life of the world. All right, and that world goes back to the Greek word cosmos, which means a particular arrangement of government. All right, which is Israel, because if you read the scriptures, all right, read to understand these scriptures. Yahweh Shema Shah is only dealing with the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, he says, "I am the living bread which came down from heaven." Hey, Yahweh Shah is that that uh that living bread that came down from heaven. Okay. That wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that came down uh, uh, from heaven, man. Okay? He, Yahweh Shah is wisdom, okay? If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Yeah, take in, this, um, the, under, take in the understanding of the scriptures. Because you're going to live forever. All right, take in the law, statutes, and commandments. Because you, you can live forever, man. And the bread... That I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Again, talking about Israel and Israel only. Ver, uh, verse 52. The Jews therefore strove amongst themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Niggas, man. Again, it's, it's not talking about literal flesh and blood. It's talking about the understanding of the scriptures. All right. Uh, verse 53. Then Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, verily. I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. All right? Like it says in the book of Proverbs, man. Um, any man that wander if out of the way of understanding shall I remain in the congregation of the day. All right, so these uh these um these Jews back then, all right, which which are back today through reincarnation, if you receive it, they, they don't have any life in them, man. They didn't have any life in them. And they don't have any life in them, man, because these Jews, they're back today. Okay, and Yahweh Shah is saying that whoever doesn't take in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, this bread, okay, the uh, the um, the doctrine, all right, you ain't going to have no life in you. So Yahweh Shah is, is saying, except you uh, uh, you follow after me, or except you uh, take in this, uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you ain't going to have no life in you, man. Like it says in the book of Proverbs, man, you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead, okay? Because uh, these niggas out here, man, uh, two-thirds of our people, you know, these false pastors, these so-called Christians, they, they must not want eternal life, man. Okay? They must, hey, they love death, man. All right? Matter of fact, the last scripture, and I'm going to just drop it there, but the last uh, scripture I'm going to get, because, I mean, it's just so many scriptures proving <coughs> that Yahweh Shah and that these scriptures... Is the uh, is that real bread and that real wine and that real drink? Okay, all right, that real wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, because Yahweh Shah is life, man. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, and this is gonna be my last script. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse three. It says, "Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein." For the time is at hand, okay? Blessed is he that readeth. That word readeth 
means to know accurately, okay, to understand, all right, to know precisely, all right, so you got to know exactly what the scriptures is talking about, that's why it says, blessed is he that readeth, yeah, you know, good that you, um, that you, uh, that you understand the scriptures, that you have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, and with this, what I was just going into, you know, talking about the bread of life, all right, which is the understanding of these scriptures, you know, Yahweh Shah is that knowledge, Yahweh Shah is that bread of life that came from heaven, all right, that manna from heaven, okay, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand, yeah, keep this with you, like the scriptures say, uh, hold that fast, which, um, yeah, hold that fast, which thou hast, roughly paraphrasing, okay, you gotta, you gotta take hold of these scriptures, all right, cherish it, all right, you gotta, you gotta read. You have to know the scriptures accurately. Okay, ask questions to um to your uh, to the uh, to other brothers, elders of your camp. Okay, because we gotta keep these with these man. Is we coming into some terrible times, so we gotta have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, so that way our days can be prolonged, and that way we can get those um you know those uh those spiritual bodies, man. All right, because Yahweh Shah is coming back to destroy, so we need to have this wisdom with us. All right, to help us through these tough times, i.e. Jacob, uh, Jacob's shovel, you know. But with that being said, I pray our brothers is edified. I, I, I didn't want to make it too long, man. I just want to do it through the spirit. Call Allah and Allah, Yahabah, Shema, Shalom.